Interactive dimensioning of parametric models. Many commercial systems suffer from world static dimension lines. As the viewpoint changes, we notice that many dimension lines are inside the model silhouette. This makes them hard to view and hard to modify. Dimension lines crossing each other add to the confusion. Our solution positions the dimension lines away from the geometry. The author defines a set of baselines, here in blue, and our system creates final handle locations, here shown in orange. Using the handles, the user can manipulate the model's parameters. Parameters control the movement of dimension lines as the view changes. It is important to align the parameters to the type of geometry they are attached to. Large tiled facades can be controlled using chain dimension lines. When the silhouette isn't visible, we position the final dimension lines inside the silhouette on top of the base lines. The following sequence of clips shows an editing session using our interactive dimension lines. Holding a modifier key shows hidden handles. Here they were hidden because they were zero length. Again, we render the baselines in blue. This handle controls a Boolean parameter. Handles are not shown on occluded scopes. Lines with a minimum screen length are only visible when zoomed in. We continue to see distance fields from the left-hand edge of the screen as computed on the GPU. and all four distance fields. The inside fallback behavior is used when we can't see the silhouette. We do not show dimension lines for occluded scopes. The alignment property gives additional control over the handles. Without the object planes, the positioning of the dimension lines is messy. Here we only use front-facing planes. Finally, we see the results of front and back-facing planes used together.
Again, no planes and front and back planes.